What is this place? Dribble's Diary. Ooh. Look, one. I'm going to let's play Kaiso Mario. <laughs> Let me cover a YouTube sensation. Uh, what? <laughs> Wait, hold on. R wrong, wrong diary. <coughs> I finally got a job in this new town. I told the head of the church that I'm an ambassador of the church. Across town, well, I'm stuck with receiving his son, Marcione. I think what makes him more embarrassing is this more embarrassing an adult. What, nanny? My duty is to protect him with my life. I'm going to try to inherit the church when Marcione's father pass away. Oh, oh. This is taking too long. I can't be stuck here waiting for the old man to die. I'm going to have how to interfere. I successfully killed off Mr. Evangelist Evangelisti. I poisoned his food every day until he finally fell over and died. I almost laughed when I saw him fall. I had to get rid of Mrs. Evangelist now. But I have to wait on a while before I can even kill her as well. If I kill her now everyone will suspect me. For now I'll wait. It took a while but I managed to kill Mrs. Evangelist. She was already feeble. The poison killed her. Very quickly. I kept sleeping small amounts of poison in the water Marcione always brought to her. So in a sense, he unintentionally killed his own mother. Since Marcione does not have an heir, if he dies by default everything goes to me. So every day I sleep some poison in his tea, hoping it will kill him slowly. Amazingly, it didn't do much at all to him. Seems he... He seems to only get slightly ill. He was always fine the next day. I began to suspect that his maid is somewhat of a witch. There was no other explanation why he didn't die from this. I met a crazy child named Alice. Something about her strikes me. I can see all her misery and anger. After we started to hang out, she let me in some information that I was not aware of. A new family which took over her home had adopted a twin from Mr. and Mrs. Evangelist. I was unaware Marcione had a twin brother. In this town, having twins of the same gen gender is a bad omen. The firstborn twin being the gift of God, and the secondborn twin being the gift of the devil. <laughs> the Evangelist had to send away the secondborn to twin to prevail. The name for being tarnished. This is something I can just finally use to get rid of Marcione once and for all. I will hold power in this town. What a fucking asshole. <laughs> well, you were being a prick. What do, you, what, what do you know? <laughs> Jeez, Riva. Who could have done everything? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the guy with the diary is playing everything. Uh, someone is coming, I need to hide. Again? We're always hiding. If it's under the cover. It's, it's under the cover of the middle, whatever. Is someone here? It's Arriba. Even if it's him, I should let him know I'm here. I know you're in here, not trying to hide. Just come out, I promise I won't hurt you. Sneak past? I don't know, I don't think that's going to worst. Hmm. Ah, you drop a key. Don't move, man. Boomer, he grabbed the key. He would have seen me. That was a close one. I mean... I of the key, look down, is, is, is not there. What's going to happen? You're going to look for it. You! You're just a temperance, just a little Riva. I can't believe you had a kid with me. He's my man. You misunderstand me. Riva is my husband. Liar. Liar! <laughs> Pants on fire, what? Ah! I will never do a wench like you. Uh, uh, I'll face this myself. I will make sure you will never get into way ever again. 
Give us mine and mine alone. I don't care if he's married, if he married you, but then we'll take him away from me. He promised to be with me. Finally, now that you're out of the way, I'm going to burn everything to the ground. After a couple of minutes waiting for the fire to consume this place, I started to hear a baby's cry. That damn child, I hope she was born alive. Is this alright? Who is alright? You must back. No! Elizabeth, this time you're not in there. Riva! Alice, what are you doing in there? Is Elizabeth with you? Santa with you? Riva, I'm here, I can barely see. Get Elizabeth and Anna out of there! Elizabeth and Anna, that's all he cares about. I had to save the child if Riva found out like more than Elizabeth, he wouldn't stay with me anymore. <laughs> I would go to Yale or send us to death, I don't know. So I saved the child from the flames. Hurry, come outside! Thank goodness you are here, I hear a baby cry in the burning house. Where is Elizabeth? Is she alright? Is she still in there? Where was she? She was dead. She wasn't moving when I grabbed Anna. No, why? Who would do such a thing? Oh, I know who would do such a thing. <laughs> it's alright now, I'm here. And your daughter is still here. Everything will be okay. <laughs> My body is shaking on its own. I can move my body freely. This is starting to scare me. I got a couple of scares late on that, Mario. <coughs> uh, can't believe Rivas is still out looking for blood. Anyways, I have 15 minutes more. What? Stain. There's something with this picture I can put my finger in it. An incredible sad that seems to creep up from the longer I look at it. Oh, so I stopped looking at it. But what, Nani? My humanity was for sale. And I sold it. At the very moment, sent me to decay. Ah. Sorry to hear that boy, son, girl, man, whatever. Entity. Is it okay to be greedy at the expense of others? Yeah, man. Of course it is. Who told you otherwise? You capitalist. <laughs> oh, I guess this is. I thought it's here, but there's no way of opening it. Good, because I think it could be easily missed. Oh. Alright. Alright, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's not go with the red ones. Because I feel the burning pain from execution. Please help me. Do you need help? It's the least thing I can do. More fragments. First fragment was in the basement, the other is home. I think we have like. Yeah, the memory fragments. I mean, is it like top to bottom or left, right, left, right? I mean, the. Uh, you know what I mean, right? Is it by columns or is it by. Uh, files? Mm, maybe we can start with the fifth one. The fifth one is found in Evangelist Resident. You have to solve the riddle. A wing of a bird. Oh. Alright, let's go. Can I go and do that? Hello, are you going to kill me? 
care of Mashone. I'm glad that he got what he deserved. You kinda look good like Mashone. Oh no! Something about the bird, right? Birds work, you say? I guess we have time to solve this. Um, 10 minutes. There's something all over this wall. There's a secret passage. Oh, we don't get beheaded or something. Yeah, but come here, it's a girl. Really? Oh, look at our, our daughter. Yeah. She looks a lot like you, Elizabeth. I'm so happy, Riva. We finally get to be together as a family now. She's so beautiful. Or shall we name her? Anna. Anna Addington. You know, I said Addington. Forget it. Oh, she's keeping my last name? It's only first since she looks a lot like you. Haha, <laughs> fair enough. Is that even possible? <laughs> I mean, I don't give a shit. But <laughs> you people do whatever you want. You know, I mean, usually you, you use whatever it is. Available in your current country, otherwise, maybe family trees become kind of complicated. I don't know, not just me. So, who was being the new clergy of town after Mashone's execution? The amount of a witch execution have dropped drastically. It's been busy, my assistant Alice has been helping me. You know, Riva, you haven't aged a bit since I met you. What's your secret? Dove? No. Well, it wouldn't be a secret anymore if I told you. Haha. <laughs> Use the blood of the innocent. That's 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 all. You always make me so happy. I'm glad to have met you. I to have met you too, Elizabeth. If I you're rotten children. I can't believe you cheated on me for this rich woman. I won't let you get away with this. I swear I'll find a way to get back at you for this. Oh. <laughs> Deep breath. I thought it was. I think that was meant to go in, ap in apostrophes or asterix. I feel I shouldn't be messing with this anymore. I shouldn't be getting high from this, Luigi. A secret passage, which. just an odd memory. Well, thanks to the spirit that we actually got it. I don't know if we have a the ending, but why not have them, right? If, if they are just out of the way there, they just get them. The powerful spirit block the path to the shores of this town. Three artifacts from the witches will be enough to destroy them. Uh, isn't that a bad thing? Whatever. It hurts. I'm sorry. I don't blame Mashone, he's been through a lot. Maybe it was some other mother which pulled in the strings. I don't know, uh, you don't justify murders. Get away from me. Ow, what the fuck? Ow! Talk about Ruth. I was beautiful and young. It makes me miss the times when I was alive until I was executed by Mashone, which is you. Game over again. <laughs> you know. I'm glad that little house exists because we got the information that we need. If there's something I like about games or that I think games should have is that all the information that you need to get say everything will be available within the game. Now or should I be going through this way? Nah, maybe not. It's getting suspiciously foggy so no. This way to the silent forest. Mm, nope. You better go back in. What was there, anyways? A head that's in on top, or. It's been a while since I played it, so I don't know which way is what. Or where we have been, or where we haven't. Oh, with the way I'm using the keyboard, my. Again, my hands are going numb. Luigi, let you stay away from him. This is a dangerous man. Mm. 
Why is he with Riva? Is he possessed? I have to save him, he's in danger. The artifacts are glowing. Oh, did I actually get the three of them? Ah, that was broken the barrier. No, I have to go quickly after them. It is freezing cold. Nur, come back away now. Luigi is in great danger. I have to save him. But first I have to save myself. Alright. Hey, is that you, Marciane? Are they helping me? Uh, damn it! Oh, I'm going to rest my hand a little. Hopefully, I don't need to push a button in a quick fashion in any moment soon. Uh, hello. Okay. Speaking of investigating... So this is where they went. Oh, this be okay. This is the point of no return, but say yeah, man. Mario, you just coming just to the wedding. What the fuck? Luigi! Game Mario is a scene! You must not! <laughs> Wait, what? So you came after all? Of course I would. I don't trust you being near my brother. Do you think he trusts you? Hmm. I feel bad for him. He trusted you until you nearly killed him. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Don't worry, I didn't hurt him. Want him back? Go ahead, I'm not stopping you. Ah! Oh, why are you doing this, Riva? Oh, wow, your life had nothing to do with this place. Shut up. I could care less of you, both of your pathetic lives. Oh, Alice. Out of anyone you decide to pick, they reincarnate of Marcioni. I never forgot all about him. The best memory I have of him was when I executed him. Such a shame you can't even control the dad body. They're completely useless. And weak. To become a powerful entity. He's completely lost it. <laughs> Marcione. That name just makes me extremely happy. You fill me with such joy. I can't wait to kill you again. But he is. Well, I want to hear you scream and cry just like Marcione. What a better way than to use your own brother. Get out, you wordless scum. Uh, I can move. Why, I can move. <laughs> Look at you, you're scared. Go on, kill him. I don't want you with a quick death. I... I still can move, why? I can be this scared. Uh, Luigi. Luigi, please, it's not part of it. His grip is getting stronger. He gives this up or pass out. L Luigi. I'm starting to get lightheaded. You can his name wasn't doing anything to loosen his grip. Not now. I can pass out. I might die. Giving up already? You're not going to the river win, are you? Don't give up. You have to fight back. Don't let Riva get his way. <sighs> <sighs> Why would I even submit? You idiot! You would have got too early. No matter. We can both kill him. But first, let me take a selfie. Let's make this fun. <laughs> Executioner. There has to be something I can do. Oh, the chandelier. If I kill Riva, maybe his influence on Luigi will break. So I'm guessing I need to... The red arrows are used to jump. Pull the levers to drop the chandelier. You must pull them in correct order, but you will temporarily stop 
you avoid them. The red arrows are used to jump, but we have to drop the chandler, you know, okay. Okay, I can just do it. Oh, this is gonna be cool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you make up two of these. It's quite a shame. I have fun chasing you. Uh, it's okay, no need to talk anymore. You're going to be fine just now. Just close your eyes. Pathetic. Can't believe you managed to survive this long. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole! Am I about to finish this game? Actually, all right. Oh, that was big. Oh, this might take a while. Though. Oh, we can actually. Wow, that did a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Uh, I feel if I jump, just by the way RPG games work, he's going to grab me, but... Okay. So is that all the way in the corner? Oh, of course it is. God damn it. For forget this piece of... <laughs> This piece of the th th trash. He does so much damage. All right, which one is going to be, huh? Of course, not that one. Are you? Oh, the stupid range of this man. Oh god, I almost get one more combo over there. No, no, she do asshole. Mm, fucking A. And I forgot the order. Alright, I think I did it. Come over here. Dude, you look out. Huh? What? Luigi? Oh, uh, Mario. Luigi, you're okay. Yeah. Here, I'll help you get up. Oh. Uh, the river won't be hurting us any longer. Uh, I'm really sorry. I had to do this. An overwhelming cube begins to flow inside me. I wonder if there was any other way I could solve this. Nope. He was a relentless killer. Skiller be killed, Jack. I have to get out of here. It won't be long before this place burns to the ground. There's a secret passage underneath the last cross up there. Just up those stairs. Oh, we should move it. I'm starting to get a little lightheaded from this smoke. Sure enough, there was a hidden passage Louis helped me open it. We ran as fast as we could. The sound of flames became distant. I felt a fresh breeze coming from the other side of this hall. Finally, we were able to leave. Finally, the exit. We can now get out of this place. I feel so sorry for all those that died here. I wish there was something I could do to save them. Nah, I guess there was... Maybe, you know. Well, not much I can do anyways. Come on, let's just go home. Oh! I suddenly feel a sharp pain radiation from my back. It took me a minute to realize what had happened. I fall to the ground. Lu Luigi! I'm sorry, Mario. I can't let you come back like this. Oh, it's so painful. Oh. Please forgive me for this. It's okay. You're doing the right thing. Before I go, I want you to know one thing. 
Alice, she's not as bad as she. You would think she is. She's been through a lot. Oh, all I wanted was to start over. Because I am bound to this cursed place, I can never cross over. I finally remember everything. I remember how my family was desperate enough to ask Riva for help. And to accuse that family of witchcraft. I saw God Marcioni executed by revealing his secret. It's all things I... It's all things I was told by Riva to do. I was so stupid to believe him. I even killed my family for him. I have so much regrets. Regrets I will never fade. Even in death. I am so s sorry for getting married into this mess. And I'm really sorry for being a bad brother. I should... I should have treated you better. And I should have told you the truth. If only I told you. I wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. Luigi, I'm scared to die. I don't want to die here. Oh. What have I done? Mario, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. Luigi, it's, it's okay. You were only doing your job, saving the Mushroom Kingdom from danger. Luigi, don't cry. How can I not cry? You're dying because of me. Hey, Luigi. Yes? I want you to take over for me. Take my place. Mario, I... Luigi, I love you. No, 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 no. Why did I do this? Please, don't... Don't leave now. Please come back. No one can know about this. If anyone knows what I have done, I'll be called a monster. And no one will like me anymore. Or worse, I'll be just locked up. Living the rest of my life in a cold, dark cell. I don't want that. I want my normal life back. Uh, I'm so sorry, bro. At least I can do this for you. I hope you rest in peace. I never thought I would end up digging my brother's grave. I would never thought I was going to be the one who takes his life away. But I had to do it. I had to live for the safety of the kingdom. Even if Alice this turned good, her cruise will only follow Mario. Those angry spirits will kill everyone. Mario wouldn't allow something like that to happen. Alright? I have to find an exit. I'm sure there's an exit down this path. There's a dead end. Oh well. I can exit from the front end of the mansion. I just couldn't have any more power to prevent me from leaving. I wish there was something I could have done to save Mario. I never found anything that could get rid of the course. I will never forget you, Mario. You are always looking out for me. Why do I feel like you're still here? Maybe I'm just going crazy. That's all this place did to me. I can imagine everything you went through. I don't know what to do anymore. So am I going to tell the Mushroom Kingdom, or will I be able to confess my sin? I had to make up a lie. But the Sailor Mario came here, went missing, and I had no idea of this place. No, I won't be able to do that. What am I supposed to do? Oh, who's there? Mario! Don't worry, brother. You won't have to confess to anyone. Wait! You just told me how to live for you. I lie. Whenever we are near death, you say stupid things. You think we will be able to forgive you? I was so close. I was so close into finally living alive. I can't believe you decided to kill me. Last minute for, for crying out. You could have still searched for a way to free the spirits. I said I was sorry. I thought you wanted to... Say sorry once, help you this time. You're staying here with me. <laughs> Don't worry, your city is safe here. Nobody will ever know. And you know what? I'm happy that I was able to kill you in the end. I saved you from the life of pure misery. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I was later of stabbing. Oh my goodness! What happened? Multiple stab ones from the chest. 
It has been out here on Dream for a while. From the looks of it, it's more there. Well, who could have done such a thing? Come to think of it, Maya has been missing for quite some time. Do you think he will do something like this? But he's his brother. What kind of motive will he have to murder and kill him like this? Yeah, you're right. Mario hasn't acted any different from the last time I saw him. It wasn't Mario. He may be in danger. You, send out a report about the murder and find a missing person case on Mario. We must inform others and make a search party on it. Too bad I will never be found. Nobody will ever find me and put me to rest. I'm stuck in this place forever. Never to move on. So unfair, but you didn't stay. <laughs> He is the fast one, and I know I'm here all alone. Alone. What, alone with Alice, or...? <laughs> you know what, Luigi? You fuck you. Mm. <laughs> Alright. I guess we're going to do it like the actual music box and re <laughs> repeat the playthrough. For the sake of getting the good ending, geese. Jesus Christ. Ah. Ah. I mean, um, of course I'm going to try to get the good ending, but... I thought, I thought so far, I like this game. I mean, of course it's kind of silly because it's Mario characters, but... But I appreciate the effort the other went... To... To provide a story using these characters, and of course, nah, she's making the best that she can with with this setting. Uh, as always, I think I would recommend her uh, to I don't know maybe write uh, her own characters, just so she could re release this game on Steam and profit out of it because. I mean, of course, they will they will be needed to redraw a lot, a lot of stuff, but it will be cool, you know, because the potential is incredible. I mean, <laughs> betrayal. <laughs> My precious Serena, my Anna, my sisters, my nephew, my servants, my mother and my father. What have I done? Oh, I killed everyone I knew and loved. At least, Riva is left. It's all I have now. Father, what am I going to do now? I'm going to die soon. Everything we work for will all die along with me. I'm sorry. I disappointed you. Ever since mom died, you turned miserable. I didn't want to see you this way. Alice? Yes, Riva? Did you kill Anna? Was it because she killed Serena? That's the only part that's only part of the reason. Do you ever think why Anna killed Serena? With her Anna like she wasn't part of the family. She wasn't. Then, why did you adopt her after saving her? It was only the only way to win your love. You had a child with Elizabeth in secret. You had cheated on me. Who could have cheated on you if I married that woman? <laughs> you, you know what? You got a point. It wasn't a secret, Alice. She was my wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he actually said it. I think he was like, really? Really, bitch? <laughs> we had a wedding, you were, you were there. <laughs> I don't know if she was, but... I thought it was funny. We weren't together until after she died. You seriously think I loved you while I was already committed to someone else? I didn't love you, Alice. You committed in infidelity. I couldn't love Anna the same way I love Serena. Serena was an old legitimate child. There's really no way to get this through you. I'm sorry, Alice. What you did was unforgivable. I know you killed Elizabeth. 
and you killed the only thing left of her. Why? I did everything for you. It's for us to be together, forever. I kill everyone here. Do you honestly think I care about that? I care about your power, having hidden potential. Once you have ridden, you have hidden potential once you have reached immortality. Well, maybe there's a issue of, what's it called, like, well, it's not sentence structure, it's called like, sentence, uh, verb, agent, relation, or something like that, but, you know, because you have, you hidden potential once you reach mortality, it's like you're talking in the past and you're talking, you're talking, you're talking about something like you said it happened in the past, but it, it hasn't yet to happen, so you're talking about something in the future. Well, oh, whatever. Let's not deal with it. We have failed me. You failed the ritual. You have failed as a mother, and most importantly, you have failed my successor. Shut up! I will curse you. Once I die, I will curse you. I will curse you, so you won't be able to leave this home. You will have to resurrect me. I curse everyone. Once I come back, I will spread my curse all across the land. I bring nothing but, <laughs> but destruction that comes into my way. Whoa! I'm sorry. You were getting annoying. In all of honesty, you were getting annoying from the start. You were so clingy to me ever since you were a child. I gave you everything just so you can grow up. You hear my power alongside yours. You were always annoying. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Am I fanboy? <laughs> this trusty old crowbar did a trick to finally shut you up. But don't worry, I won't let your soul go to waste. And I have some plans for you. I will tell us this. I won't be needing this anymore. Oh, what? Yo! It was probably, you know, conveniently plotted, but... <laughs> the author can say that I had it planned from the very beginning, and no one will be the wiser. So, Anna, you said you were going to steal her in the music box? Yes, if Mother were to go free, she will destroy everything. Looks like that it's starting to get dark and cloudy. Mother may have an a curse this house, but as long as she's healed, she can't free her curse. <laughs> I can't leave. Every time I try I end up back here. I guess I have no choice but to stay here. Maybe someday someone will be able to break her curse. Once she gets a physical body one more once more. We can complete that ritual with the host as a sacrifice, then the curse can spread. I will be able to leave this place then, so I'll wait here until that time comes. So I think that I can simply die and leave this place for good, but I can truly die. If I do, I will just come back in a new body. Believe me, I tried. When I die, I lose some of my memories. I seem to lose them little by little. At some point, I forgot why I was here in the first place. How long has it been? Months? Years? Decades? I lost track. The sky is always dark. The clocks all have frozen a minute before midnight. I have been wandering this house for so long. Many new people every now and then. I like to see them die a while after. What brings this idiot to come visit this place? <laughs> what is this Alice doing? This is a human foolishness. Whatever it is, a new guest has arrived. A man in red, familiar face which I can seem to remember clearly. Oh well. Whoever he is, he seems a lot different than most guests that they are venturing in this home. I see how long that takes for him to die. Oh, well, shit, this is what time is it? 4.20, oh, well, you smoke weed every day. Oh, great, ruining the mood, as always. Anyways, 
Thank you so much for watching. Guess I'll see you when I see you, everyone. Take care. And <laughs> remember, don't be, a f <laughs> don't be a fucking asshole. Well, I don't know what to tell you, really. Just uh, be careful, alright? I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't mind a clean your blonde. What? What? <laughs> I don't know. I think Alice is cute. <laughs> Uh, but I don't know about the dark rituals and stuff like that. Maybe not. Anyways, ugh, I'm I, I'm in that limbo between tired and I don't know if I'm tired. <laughs> but at 4:20 in the morning, I think it will be a good time to sleep. And I'll see you.